Hey, I'm Devin. This is Bucky. This is Barefoot Props. Today we're going to show you how to build a duct tape mannequin like this big guy standing behind me here. I have a very specific way I like to build them to allow us to uh, build your templates off of them for your custom cosplay and to uh, be able to store your cosplay on it when you're not in use. So we're building one today for my daughter, Indiana. So please stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my lovely daughter, Indiana, who needs her PVC and duct tape mannequin. Uh, first time on YouTube, so she's a bit <laughs> laughy. So you have to forgive her for that. But she recently uh, cosplayed Ahsoka Kana. Right, did I say it right? Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka, ah, those guys from that contest, but <laughs> Ahsoka Tana. Please do not hate me for messing that <laughs> yeah. up. So she, um, she recently cosplays that. I will insert a picture of that here. But she wants to do some more cosplay. And so with that, it's going to uh, help her to have a mannequin similar to mine that she can do stuff on. And I know there's some tutorials out there on mannequins. People do bit parts and everything like that. But I feel like the most important part of a mannequin is to have a good skeleton that holds it up and keeps it steady. And it's really not a complicated build and I'm just gonna kinda lay that out for you now. And so I've actually already done a little work on this so we can kinda keep the video short and it's, it's kinda self-explanatory. But uh, I put some tape on Indiana's back. And so if you kinda see, uh, let me get out of the way a little bit. This is kinda the layout of how I usually do the PVC. So actually I use one inch PVC just down each leg and comes up to a T at the shoulder height on both sides. The one inch is a little bit more stable. I ended up getting some uh, uh, cheap PVC, which I would have rather had Schedule 40. I just wasn't paying attention, but I think it's going to be strong enough for her mannequin. But I would recommend using Schedule 40 PVC. So one inch PVC for this section here and the base, which I'll show you that here in a minute. And, uh, and up here I use three quarter PVC down the arms and up the neck and the head. Okay, and so uh, so we're gonna let pull the tape off Indiana, let her get out of the way, and we'll bring in the uh, mannequin and or the the uh, frame here, and we'll go from there. As for this part, I think it's gonna be easier for me just to point it out for you. Okay, so um, sorry for the bouncing camera, but here's what we talked about. This is the uh, T three quarter inch uh, PVC T to three quarter inch pipe for the neck. Then I have uh, two, they're called like bull nose tees because they're three quarters inch on the top and then it's the one inch adapter here. And so if you can't find those, you can just put a regular three quarter inch tee and then put like right here, put an adapter from three quarter inch to one inch. It's not, it doesn't have to be uh, extremely difficult or anything. I, instead of buying like three quarters or anything like that here, I find that it's easier just to use a, um, just a regular 90 because uh, if you use like a 45 here, the arms almost swing out too far. And so with this and having a uh, the 90, all I do is heat the PVC here a little bit with a heat gun or a torch. You just need to make sure you don't burn it. Just takes a second to warm it up and then you can uh, bend it to give that little outward angle. And the same thing at the elbows, instead of spending a lot of time trying to get a PVC adapter or anything like that, just heat them up and bend them just a little bit. And you can adjust that farther once you get your scallop put together. Of course, when you do this part, don't glue anything because you've got, still got to get it inside the duct tape uh, once you take that off the mannequin. So, And as far as the base goes, it's basically just a bunch of uh, one inch PVCs. It's a big square with two T's on either side. So, so you need, boy, that's harder to get in there than I thought it would be. There we go. All right, so that's um, four 90s and two standard one inch PVC pipes. So really um, for a standard height, Indiana is what, 5'10"? So standard height, you can get you know two, in, uh, two pieces of 10 foot one inch PVC 
and then just one 10 foot piece of three quarter inch PVC and that should be enough. Right. So I had to put the camera back on the tripod so you could see this, but uh, basically one of the other important things I say, the natural tendency people want to put the PVC all the way up here at the top of the shoulders where these T's are. But if you see that I've set this just an inch or so below the top of our shoulders, one thing is what that allows us to do is when we stuff the, the, the duct tape mannequin around this, we want to be able to fill in newspaper on top of this PVC to kind of fill in the roundness of the shoulders. Otherwise your shoulders end up being very peaked and rigid, not natural forming. So they won't have your shape of your overall upper shoulders. So you want to make sure you get that. And as far as the arms and stuff, don't worry about initially trimming on the length right. Just make sure you get the elbow bend in the right place. It's a gradual bend. It doesn't need to be excessive because you just want it in the natural body standing position. And the waist, we can always, if, uh, if, if you have a really narrow waist, I don't have that problem, but she does. So uh, the PVC can be just flexed in a little bit once the legs and everything are stuffed in. You can take a little tape and wrap around it before you start stuffing it. So, but the next step is to her to change into some old clothes. We're gonna get some assistance and a whole bunch of duct tape, which crap I forgot to buy. So I'm gonna see if I can't find some. All right guys, it's a little bit later and we're just gonna get started on putting the duct tape on. Indiana's gotten changed. We got helpers here, one helper, Willow, one not so much of a helper, Bucky. So he's gonna be messing things up for us, I'm sure, but we're gonna get started. We're gonna go over a couple of basics, a couple of quick tools is you wanna have some old clothes because you're gonna be cutting the clothes off. So you just ground up whatever you can find. If you have some uh, clothing that doesn't completely cover the flesh where you want to have the mannequin go and you can just use some saran wrap, saran wrap or some aluminum foil. So we're just going to put a little aluminum foil up here and just kind of get that to cover this top part a little bit here. So it's not going to be quite so sticky to the skin there. So, but that at least gives us something to kind of stick to initially and we can kind of fold that down so it's not as irritating. So I recommend using short strips of tape. Uh, you can use some longer ones on the midsection of the torso, but you really don't want to like take this bowl of duct tape and like wrap it around because that's going to be too tight. And so it'll actually distort the body image if you just kind of you're pulling and wrapping at the same time. So you want to just kind of slowly kind of work your way around, get layers upon layers of duct tape. And so crisscrossing different directions make sure everything's covered with at least two layers and so and that'll give it its structure it needs to stay together so so we're just going to get started and uh, you can put Bucky down and start sticking tape on and we'll speed the clock up and go from there okay because this is going to take a while So we finally got her done. So she's totally covered in duct tape and it's time for uh, me and Willow to leave. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now Bucky is getting all tangled up in my microphone. He was a, not so much of a help. So, but now all we need to do is we need to cut things off. And so I do have a little safety scissors. It helps a little bit. 
What you want to do is cut the top layer clothes along with the tape and not the lower layer of clothes. So, uh, so what I do is I snip down from the top here down to the mid back, slip up the forearms and up the lower legs. And that just allows you to kind of just slip it off in one whole piece. And then you can just, after, after you put the skeleton inside of it, you can just kind of piece it back together. So we're gonna start working on this. It may be painful, I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. She's got definitely smaller arms than me. If I cut you, Indiana, you're gonna have to let me know. It's always great to have a toddler help you do these projects. But we have a big family. So sometimes we have to divide and conquer. The other kids are at karate. That's in my way, I have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers up in there. Kind of bring it off from the flesh and Whoa, that's nothing like getting thrown necklace thrown at you. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. You want the safety scissors? No, give her the safety scissors. <laughs> I don't need scars on my legs. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start working on. There we go. Oh my gosh. I didn't cut the. Ace, put the scissors down. <laughs> Hand me those scissors, Indy. I mean, Willow. Try to get you out before you suffocate. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna let the girls try to figure out how to get the pants off here. I'm gonna get out of the way. Bucky has hit this thing so many times that our camera is, is laying all over the place. Can you not get it over the her backside? Her backside's a little too big. Is that what And so the rest of the way. The key point is to just cut the, the duct tape enough to get the person out. And then uh, what you can do from there is to <laughs> baby with scissors. We have to do wave at the camera. Oh, uh -huh. here she goes. All right. She she is free. You might sit down. I'm not sat down. All right. Let's... <laughs> Ah, uh, free, free at last. All right, so there you have it. You have it. Okay, so now we're just gonna put the, the duct tape over our skeleton uh, out of PVC. And so we're just gonna dismantle this a little bit. We'll put it together. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to get a little bit more newspaper to stuff it, but I just wanted to show this part of it and then we'll kind of go from there, okay? So I'm just gonna pull the arms off real quick. and just detach it from the base. And we're just gonna slide these legs right down inside of her legs. And we'll bring those up. I'll let you put that base back down. There we go. And let's bring the arms back up in here and reattach them. You need help? There we go. Slip all that back up and over. And so there we have it. So basically, once this is all stuffed, I usually like to leave this part open and stuff up through here first because anything like narrow, like arms, it's really hard to get in there. And we'll get this part stuffed up around the shoulders and everything stuff. And as we come down the forearm, we'll start closing that and taping it back together. And let's do the same thing on the legs. Start from the inside and out. You can kind of leave these areas open like in the back as long as you need to, to kind of get things. But it'll just seam right back up nicely. And like we talked about, we'll have some newspaper stuffed in this upper portion here. One other quick tip is uh, after it's stuffed, we use the cheapest duct tape you can find, you know, so uh, I usually like to get a good, nice, high quality duct tape, uh, 
specifically black because I like it black, but she might want hers to be pink. <laughs> so, but uh, so uh, so what we'll do is uh, cover the whole thing with one more coat of a high quality duct tape, and that'll keep it from starting to fray back and peel back over time. Well, I didn't have enough uh, newspaper to finish the entire thing, but I think I got the torso and the upper arms and upper legs pretty much done. Um, and you can see how I've seamed the back back together so you can start seeing the shape uh, coming back to the shape. Turn it around, we still probably need a little bit more pressure in the front here, but I think, uh, I think we're getting there to the shape. So anyhow, guys, uh, thanks for watching uh, Duct Tape Mannequin Build of Indiana, and you have a great day. Okay, I gotta wait until the big redneck guy's gone. He's kind of pissed about his duct tape.